Hey everybody, here we are. It is a Thursday. We are going to focus on some flow today, some flow yoga with support for the shoulders and some calf and hamstring and quad release. So those have been the requests today. Some shoulder strength, some or support is actually the word and um, hamstrings, quads, which are the front of the thighs and calves. So here we go. Come to a comfortable seat. And as you do, you might allow your eyes to close or keep them softly open. Sometimes it's way more challenging of a practice to keep your eyes softly open, especially if you're like me and you're used to closing your eyes and that feels comfortable. You might try to just keep them softly open and gaze downward. Taking a few moments to notice your breath. The pattern of your breath flowing in and out. We're in the moment to really root down and feel your parts of your body that are touching the earth really connect there. To this land of the Coast Salish people, Duwamish tribe, the Tulalip tribe. Feeling into how we can show up for these bodies exactly as they are. These bodies in their wholeness and in their fragmented parts. And how we can gather up some of those fragmented parts, the parts that we tend to think are injured or wrong or weak or all these things that we tend to do. That's my bad side, that's my bad me, that kind of thing. Instead, can we gather them back home? This is my body whole and beautiful and complete just as she, he, they are. Bring our palms to our heart in some shape that feels useful right now. Bowing our heads slightly and taking a moment in gratitude. One own together. Uh... All right, my dears, if you're following me on Spotify, let's see what the playlist today. Dissolve, that'll make me want to flow. <laughs> All right, so we'll push dissolve in three, two, one. Push, play, stand at the top of the mat. So we're going to warm up in kind of the old fashioned way, we might say, in the traditional vinyasa way. Surya Namaskara A, Surya Namaskara B. Yeah. So let's take it slow to begin with. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back, plank. Bring your knees down, shift your weight forward and lower halfway down, pause, and then all the way to the earth. Cobra pose. Inhale, you might lift your hands. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Here in this first down dog, hook your right big toe and second toe on your left heel and draw the heel toward the earth as you lift your sitting bones toward the sky. Good, yes. Nice, comfy. So really feeling like you have that natural curve in the low back. And then we'll switch sides, hooking the left big toe, second toe on the right heel. Drawing the heel down and you see how her natural curve of her low back is being accentuated there with the sitting bones rising up. 
Great. And then take that foot down. We'll shift high on the balls of the feet. Bend the knee. Step your right foot forward, followed by your left. Forward fold at the top of the mat. Take a moment to maybe uh, grab your calves or your ankles. And just nod your head yes. Nod your head no. And just feel into this forward fold. And then rise all the way up on your next inhale. Palms pass through the heart, mountain pose. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back, plank. Shift your weight forward. Now knees could come down, lower halfway down, pause. All the way to the floor. Cobra pose this time, take your fingertips wide and lift up a little bit higher, pushing into the fingertips and then dip your right shoulder toward the earth. Come back to center on the inhale and then dip the left shoulder toward the earth. Come back to center on the inhale, lift your arms, nice, downward facing dog. Great, hook your right big toe, second toe on the Achilles, draw it down, try to keep your heel down and lift that right leg. Nice, try not to open the hip. Feel the right outer hip come down, yes, beautiful. Flex through that heel, inhale here. Exhale, put the foot down, down, yep. And then hook the left big toe and second toe on the right Achilles. Draw the heel down, then lift that left leg up as high as you can, still outer left hip down, flexing the left heel, awesome. Take a deep breath in, put that foot back down. Shift high on the balls of the feet, bend the knees, left foot forward, followed by the right forward fold at the top of the mat. Here you might grab opposite elbows. As you grab opposite elbows, you could sway, bending one knee and then the other and kind of swaying, letting the head go, the neck go, all the things. And then rising all the way up on the inhale. Mountain pose. Great. And then now more of the traditional pacing of Surya A. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. So you could step back, lower the knees, lower halfway down, cobra or up dog. Inhale, back to downward facing dog on the exhale. Breathe, notice, pause. Shift high on the balls of the feet, bend the knees, walk or try hopping light. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, palms to the heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Rise up, inhale. Palms pass through the heart. One more at this pace, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, long breath out. Inhale here, exhale here. Walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift, inhale, fold forward, exhale. Rise all the way up, inhale, mountain pose. 
Chair pose, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, step your right foot forward between your hands. Spin your back heel down, rise up now. I would look at Kanti and say, maybe widen the stance, yeah? Draw that left hand forward as the right arm is up. Feel your left ribs drop forward. A slight little tuck to the tail. Both arms go up. Inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga. You might float the right leg or maybe that's a flourish you'd rather skip. Cobra or up dog. Back to downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward. Warrior one. And so a wider stance is usually better so that the hips have a chance to square. Right ribs drop forward. Tail tucks under. Inhale, arms go up. Shoulders go down. Heart lifts. Exhale, chaturanga. You might float that left leg. Cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog. I'm taking the time in down dog just to breathe, to notice. So for our calves, we could bend the knees, really lift the sitting bones high, and then try to straighten the legs, heels down, lifting up through the quadriceps, the front of the thighs. Walker, hop to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Chair pose, inhale. Stand up straight and strong. Mountain pose. Chair pose, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, right foot steps forward, back heel down, warrior one. Find the pose, both arms go up, draw the ribs in. And then notice, can you start to think about the right outer hip coming back and bending that right knee? Mm -hmm. Inhale here, chaturanga, you might float that right leg. Inhale, cobra or up dog, beautiful. Downward facing dog, your left foot steps forward for warrior one. Take that time, draw the outer left hip back and bend that left knee. Mm -hmm. Inhale here, chaturanga, you might float the left leg. Cobra or up dog. Back to downward facing dog or child's pose or sitting back on your heels. All of those are options. Walker, hop to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Chair pose. Stand up mountain. All right, chair pose, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Down dog, right foot steps forward, warrior one. Try to really bend that right knee now, yeah? <clears throat> Draw the right outer hip back. Draw the left ribs forward, lift the heart up. Beautiful, inhale here. Notice, do you feel the front of your left hip stretching? Is it a hip flexor stretch in any way? If not, can you tuck your tail? Yeah. Inhale here. Chaturanga, you might float that right leg. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, your left foot steps forward, warrior one. 
As you come up, you might really notice, can you stretch the front of that right hip by slightly tucking the tail, really bending that left knee, drawing the left hip back, right hip forward, gorgeous. Inhale here, chaturanga, you might float the left leg. So just kind of noticing different muscle groups in warrior one. I think warrior one is one of the hardest poses in yoga because my hips just naturally want to open. I see that with Kanti as well. Yeah, so just notice without force where we can come into awareness. Like, okay, the back front of the hip is stretching. The outer hip is drawing back from the forward leg. You know, all those little things can help make warrior one a little bit um, more stabilizing and mobilizing for the hips. Walker hop to the top. Halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale, chair pose, inhale, stand up, mountain, take a deep breath in, long breath out, last one, chair pose, fold forward over your legs, halfway lift on the inhale, chaturanga dandasana, exhale, cobra or up dog, inhale, Downward facing dog, right foot forward, warrior one. Rise up, one breath. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Back to downward facing dog. Left foot forward, warrior one. Inhale as you rise. Exhale, chaturanga, maybe floating that left leg. Cobra or up dog to downward facing dog. Breathe, feel, notice. Walker hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose. And stand up, straight and strong, mountain pose. And just notice the heat you've built in this way. It's just a different way. And now we're going to start to stretch more. Chair pose, inhale. Fold forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Down dog your way. So maybe you do every chaturanga. Maybe you do half of them. Maybe you do none of them from this point forward. Yeah, up to you. Once you land in down dog, the right leg goes high. Draw the right knee in towards your belly, chest, or even your nose as you hover forward. Lift the leg again on the inhale. Take it across your body towards your left tricep. Hover. Inhale as you lift it again. Take it towards your right tricep as you hover. Inhale, lift it again. Step the foot forward between your hands. Dip your hips, lift your heart, breathe in. Straighten that right leg and bow towards your shin and then flex your foot up toward the sky. And maybe you feel your calf there. Take a deep breath in. And then put the foot down, standing split. So lifting that left leg high, you might have your forehead towards your shin, most important. Then maybe one or both hands reach for the calf, yeah. So listen to what's gonna happen. You're gonna come crescent lunge, crescent lunge, stepping back, rising up, big inhale, warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, exalted warrior. Side plank on the left, side plank on the left. Good. Take a deep breath in. Down dog your way. Left leg lifts. Draw the knee in towards your belly, chest, or even your nose. Hover forward. Lift the leg up. Take it across the body towards your right arm. Lift the leg up. Take it toward your left arm. Lift the leg up. 
Step the foot forward between the hands, dip the hips, lift the heart, breathe in. Straighten the left leg and flex your toes toward the sky, breathe into the calf. Take another deep breath in. Put the foot down, lift the right leg up, standing splits, forehead toward the shin first, and then maybe one or both hands touch the calf. Inhale here. Exhale, step back. Inhale, rise, crescent lunge, good. Warrior two, yes. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, back through exalted. And this time side plank on the right, side plank on the right. Good. Deep breath in. Down dog your way, down dog your way. From down dog, bring your right forearm to the earth. Left forearm to the earth. Right forearm up. Left forearm up. Left forearm to the earth. Right forearm to the earth. Left forearm up. Right forearm up. Try to be super slow. Maybe shorten your stance, walking your feet one, two steps forward. Try to wrap your elbows in towards your body and so slow motion, both elbows to the ground. Try not to flump down. Yeah, good, good, good. Can both come up at the same time. So strong through the shoulders, nice hunty. Shift high on the balls of the feet, then the knees, walk or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, inhale. Palms to the heart, twist to the right. As you twist to the right, your elbow could go between your knees or your left elbow could go to the outside of your right knee. You could stay here or you could open your arms high to low. Now listen to what's gonna happen. You're gonna lift your left knee up and draw your heel toward your butt and step it back, crescent lunge with the twist. So good, with the twist, yep. Rise up, inhale, crescent, warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, exalted warrior, side plank on the left. Deep breath in together, down dog your way. Shift high on the balls of the feet, bend the knees, walk or try to hop light. Halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Chair pose. Palms to the heart, twist to the left. Your elbow could go between the knees or to the outside of that left knee. Open your arms high to low, maybe, or stay with your hands at your heart. You're gonna to try to lift that right heel to your butt, good. And then step it back, keep your arms how they are. You're in that twisted space, yep. Rise up through the twist. Crescent lunge, inhale here, nice. Warrior two, Shh. inhale, exalted warrior. Side angle, inhale, exalted. Side plank on the right. Down dog your way. Left forearm to the earth, right forearm to the earth, left forearm up, right forearm up, right forearm to the earth, left forearm to the earth, 
right forearm up, left forearm up. Now think about what's gonna happen. Wrap your elbows in towards you. Slow motion, try to lower both elbows. Great, try to lift both elbows. Awesome. Shift high on the balls of the feet, bend the knees, walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, inhale. Arms out to either side. Right arm goes under, eagle arms. Right leg goes up and over, eagle legs. Bring your elbows toward your knees, toward your knees. And then fly that right leg back, warrior three or airplane. You can lift your shoulders and chest a little bit higher. Nice, and then land back, crescent lunge foot, eagle arms. Elbows away from the chest, fingertips high. Nice, nice, nice. Keep your eagle arms, warrior two. Nice. Humble warrior with eagle arms. Humble warrior with eagle arms. You might hold your head in your hands. You might think about your head going toward your ankle. Great. Make your way to the long edge of your mat with your eagle arms. Your feet point straight forward toward that long edge of the mat, or you could be slightly pigeon toed. Keep your eagle arms goddess pose. So knees will bend and now toes will turn out and heels will turn in. You might stay rooted with heels down or you might lift your heels up. Free your arms, straighten your arms and legs, star. Warrior two toward the back. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side plank on the left. Deep breath in. Down dog your way. From down dog, lift your left leg, bend the knee and open the hip. You might stay or you might flip your dog. That could look like wild thing with that right leg straight or both knees could be bent like bridge pose. Awesome. Come back, that left leg is high. Take the left leg across the body, straighten the leg, thread it through. You could put it on the ground or keep it up. Right arm lifts. Nice ribs, drawing those top ribs down. Inhale, lift that left leg. Both hands are to the floor. Step the foot forward straight away, warrior two. Good, that right arm goes under, that right arm goes under. So same side, right? Same side on purpose. Come to humble warrior with those eagle arms. Second time here, can you feel into your forehead moving towards your ankle? Can you feel some support with that left shoulder going inside that left knee? And then move toward the long edge of the mat. Eagle armed goddess. So noticing your shoulders here, noticing your shoulders. Good. Free it up, star pose. Arms are straight, legs are straight. Warrior two toward the front. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, exalted. Side plank on the left. Deep breath in. Down dog your wish. Good, good, good. Breathe, down dog.
Walker hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, chair pose. Arms open to either side. Left arm under, left leg over, eagle pose. And then the elbows make their way towards your knees. And then the left leg flies back. Keep that arms and land back like crescent lunge with the foot, elbows away from the chest, fingertips high, so good. Inhale here, keep your arms warrior two stance. Humble warrior with eagle arms, right shoulder inside that right knee. Notice the difference maybe between sides for you. Just notice head might go in the hands. Think of the crown of your head might go towards your ankle. And then eagle armed wide-legged forward fold, feet face the long edge of the mat, slightly heels are wider than the toes. And then the opposite, heels turn in, toes turn out, bend your knees, eagle armed goddess. You might stay with your heels down or you might lift them up one at a time or both together. Star, big inhale. Warrior two toward the back. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, exalted warrior. Side plank on the right. Deep breath in. Down dog your way. Right leg lifts, bend the knee and open the hip where you might stay or you might flip your dog. Could look like wild thing or both knees bent, good. Coming back, both hands are down, that right leg is high. Take the leg across the body, straighten the leg, thread it through. Maybe it's on the ground, maybe it's not. Take a deep breath in, come back, right leg goes high. Step the foot forward for warrior two. Left arm under, eagle arms. Humble warrior with eagle arms. So see what this second time through feels like for you. Does it feel a little bit more familiar or is it the same? Is it just challenging? This is a challenging pose for most folks. And then keeping the arms, making your way to the long edge of the mat, toes turn to face forward. Deep breath in, long breath out. And then eagle armed goddess, eagle armed goddess. Inhale, star. Warrior two toward the front of you. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, exalted. Side plank on the right, side plank on the right. Down dog your way, down dog your way. Coming down onto your forearms. You can do it one at a time or both together, whatever works. Good, good. Walk your feet one, two steps forward, lift your right leg up. You might stay there or you might do a few little kicks, maybe even coming to Pincha Mayarasana. Take a deep breath in, long breath out. And then coming back to forearm dog. So both feet down to the ground or dolphin, it's called both. From here, lift your left leg where you might stay or you might do a couple kicks that might end up in Pincha Mayarasana, might not. 
It's okay, whatever happens, happens. Yep, and then when you're ready, come back to form dog dolphin. Yep. Big shoulder strengthener. Child's pose, child's pose. Walk your elbows forward, bring your palms together like Anjali Mudra. Bring your palms behind your head. Maybe your thumbs touch the back of your neck or even upper back. Come up onto your knees for camel pose, camel pose. So you might have a block, you might place that block between your knees or a pillow, something you can squeeze between your thighs. I find that so useful in camel, it's nuts. So if it's a block, it kind of looks like a Pez piece. So I'll have Conti kind of demo. Like if it was a Pez piece going out front, what happens? Yeah, try to make the block really go out front. Yeah, so what happens is you kind of splay your hips forward. It's not the best for the SI joint. So imagine the block going behind you. Yeah, what has to happen? It's like you need an internal rotation of your thighs, your hips, yeah? And then squeeze the block and try to lift up out of it. So place your hands to your upper hips, yeah? And then try to imagine grounding that down so that you can grow the rib cage up, 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 and then forward, bringing the sternum up and forward, yeah? And then maybe reaching one hand for your heel, yeah? maybe both for your heel. Mm -hmm. And so it's, when both hands touch the heels, what tends to happen is the Pez piece wants to go forward. Try to squeeze it and make it go behind you the best you can, but still send your hips forward a lot. Still send your heart up. And then for her today, I'm gonna have her release her hands and grab interlace fingers behind her head. head. So she's supporting her neck. So I know her neck has been kind of agitated lately. So supporting the neck is another great one in camel because it actually really opens up the chest. So you feel that the front of the shoulders and the chest, the pecs. Yeah. Beautiful. And then coming back to sitting back on your heels, removing the block. So your right hand is going to pat you on the back. Your left hand is gonna sneak behind and, and stay for a moment at your low back, yeah? And so you'll almost kind of lengthen your low back by pushing down on that left form. And you might stay just like that, or maybe you can bring your fingertips together, or maybe you can interlace, whatever works for you. So Gomukhasana arms, cow face. I don't know how this looks like a cow, but that's how it goes. And then come back up onto your knees, tuck your toes under, and then, camel in this position. So lean back into that arm, let that arm support you exactly. And so she's not sending her hips terribly far forward. Yeah. It's more the heart up. Yeah. And so when you don't send your hips terribly far forward, you can actually um, take the low back out of the equation and try to encourage it in the upper back more. Great. And then sit back on your heels and release your arms. Just notice that. So this all shoulder support, all shoulder support, yeah. And then left hand pats you on the back. And the right hand sneaks around and you at first might just kind of lengthen your low back with that right form, like you're gonna push down there. And then if the fingertips can come together and that doesn't feel like any kind of strain, great. Sitting up onto the knees, tucking the toes under. And then leaning back into your left forearm. Yeah, so toes tuck under doesn't have to happen, but I find it's a little bit more stable for my body. And then again, nice. You can see if you look at Conti that the front of her is so aligned, right? And it's just the chest that's lifting up, right? But her quads to her knees to the front of her hips are all one straight line. Great. And then sit back on your hands. Release your hands. Downward facing dog. Right. 
Right leg goes high. Right foot steps forward. Dip the hips, lift the heart, breathe in. Straighten that front leg and flex the toes up toward the sky. And then see if you can take your left hand on the outer right foot. Yep, and draw that outer foot back and draw your heart way forward and then bow your head towards your shin. Draw your right hip back. Yes, beautiful. Try to bring your left heel to the ground. Whoa. I'd have to shorten your stance. Release this shape. Place your right foot down. Lift your left leg to the sky, standing split. And then allow your hip to open. Allow your hip to open. Uh huh. Bend that left knee and see if you can reach back with your right hand for the foot and just draw the heel in toward the booty and draw the head toward the shin. So you're still letting that knee go up and open. Exactly. And can you, I know it's balanced, but can you feel the front of that left quad stretch? Yeah. Okay, release that shape. Step that left foot way back, put the left knee to the ground. Great. Let that right knee open. Yep. So we'll stay down on to maybe forearms. See if you can come to forearms. Let that right foot flex at the ankle and let that knee really open out to the right. Yeah. So more about the knee opening than the foot. So we're dipping the hips toward the earth here, yeah? <clears throat> now, can, and maybe it's not true, can your left forearm stay down and your right hand go to your right thigh? And you look over your right shoulder, uh-huh. Can you keep that left forearm down, bend the left knee and reach back with the right hand and draw the heel in toward the butt? Exactly. And you're shifting your weight forward so your hips still go toward the ground so that you're not on the kneecap directly, but kind of in the front of it. Yep. So I would imagine that is quads on the left side. Then kick the foot into the hand, allow your shoulders to stack open so the heart is open more of a back then and then maybe look down maybe look down letting the neck have some ease great release your foot gently come to palms you're going to come to three-legged dog which means that right leg lifts bend the knee and let the hip open You can flip your dog here, or you can do hip circles, whatever feels useful. Awesome. Very good. And then down dog, all fours. Left leg lifts. Left foot steps forward. Dip the hips, lift the heart, breathe in. Straighten that leg and flex, <laughs> so sneaky, the toes up toward the sky and you might start to shorten your stance, which Conti did in a very sneaky, not so sneaky way. And uh, the right hand might grab the outer edge of the left foot and you flex that foot back and bow the head toward the shin. Maybe trying to get the right heel down, which is a taller, that might not happen. The sitting bones go up, so you're stretching the whole outer line, the back line of both legs, right? The hamstrings, the calves, Achilles. And then release that shape, standing splits. We're going to let the knee open and knee bend and hip open. And then the left hand tries to grab hold of that right foot and draw the heel in. And then the forehead still toward the shin. It's a lot. It's 
Spencer, I hope this is leg terrific for you. Just all the legs, the whole thing. Step it all the way back and bring the right knee to the ground. Let that left knee really open to the left. You can hard flex the foot. The left foot can go on to the pito side. If you can, come onto your forearms, yeah? And send your hips forward and just see how that feels. Notice where you feel sensation here. It's kind of different for all different bodies. And then you might place your left hand on your thigh, even though your right forearm is down. You might bend that right knee and reach back with your left hand, draw the heel into the booty and kind of square your shoulders and still send your hips forward. So you're kind of on the top of the, the knee instead of the kneecap directly. And then kicking the foot into the hand, a bit of a back bend, opening up your foot. Maybe looking down for your neck. Release that foot, you'll tuck the back toes under, come to palms. And then it's three-legged dog, lifting that left leg up and maybe doing hip circles, whatever feels useful. And then coming to hands and knees, coming to hands and knees. Walking your hands a tiny bit forward, sending your hips a tiny bit forward, chest and chin toward the earth, chest and chin toward the earth. Now, you might stay just like this. For some of you might try to interlace the fingers behind your back. Let your arms rinse out overhead. Big time shoulders, big time shoulders, yes. So good, so good. I used to have a picture of this pose on my refrigerator. It always seems so crazy to me, but yet here you are in it. And then release your hands. <laughs> Maybe quartz on your belly. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> You're in child's pose, taking a few breaths in to the back. Yeah, maybe in child's pose, interlacing the fingers behind your back. That would be a lot easier. Okay. How about rabbit? That's a good one. So wrap it, the crown of the head super close to the knee. So it's like you're going to stick your little nose between your knees and then come up. And you can keep your hands back, grabbing your feet. Or some folks interlace the fingers behind their back and let them rinse out here and wrap it. It just depends on what you want from the pose. And then releasing into child's pose, walking your hands forward. And then both hands walk over to the right. Interlace your left fingertips on top of the right fingertips. Yep. And stretch open that whole left side body. And back to center and over to the other side. Now 
next pose is either pigeon or thread the needle. Pigeon or thread the needle. We'll start with the right side. about 10 to 20 breaths here in either pigeon or thread the needle. Here's when you're ready, switching sides in a way that feels useful to you. My dears, so the next place I'll invite you to is onto your back, however that looks for you to get there. Awesome. Draw your knees into your chest and do a few circles one direction and a few the other. Let your knees fall over to the right in any kind of line twist. So maybe even eagle legs. You might want to do eagle legs today. So it would mean left leg is over. Left, left leg's on top if you're going to the right. Let's see what that feels like. Is that too much for the back or just enough?
What I like about eagle legs is if you look at Condi, like her hips are so level, so level. So that means the left shoulder is not going to come all the way down onto the ground. So it's very difficult to have, if your hips are truly level, to have the shoulder back down. So if you're feeling your left shoulder up away from the floor, that's completely reasonable. And back to center, and then it would be the right leg over the left for eagle legs, and then twist to the left. And then likely that left shoulder will come up off the floor. Good. Good. Or right shoulder is up. Right, left, one fish, two fish, one fish, two fish. Oh, yeah, that's smart. So she's putting a block out underneath her right wrist. Ready, coming back to center and do a few little circles one direction, a few little circles the other. And then happy baby pose. You might rock side to side. And then soles of the feet together, interlace the fingers around your feet. If you can or not, grab your ankles. And then just notice this space. You can breathe into the back of your heart. And release it all, my dear, Shavasana, corpse pose.
ready, my dears, coming back to center in a seat with perhaps one hand to the heart and one to the earth. Gratitude for these sweet earth bodies, our first home. Gratitude for this home that we all share. Mother. The spirit of peace, we say Shanti, Shalom, Salam, Amani, Maluhia, Irini, Shia Khan, Jam, Pache, Pats. The spirit of our collective truth and liberation, we say, Ashe, Amin, Amen, Blessed be, Kapu Aloha, and Lakech, Satnam, Namaste, Atakwiasin, Black Lives Matter.